Hey guys and welcome to Alpha 16 Experimental Build 119. Unfortunately I had to restart for this one since it was a few builds away from 113. As you guys know with 113 I didn't restart since it's only one away from 112. But for this they changed a few things so to get the best experience I needed to restart. So I'm, I'm still playing the same seed hopefully I, because usually I get the seeds wrong. So hopefully it's still the same seed and yeah let's just see what happens. Wow, it took 23 in-game minutes for me to actually get in here. That's how long it takes to render the world now. It's actually a shame we had to restart since we got so far in the... Wait, do I have enough for battle? We got so far in the previous series. Um, I mean, we al I already got all the chests up, named the chest and everything, and things are just starting to look up for us. For now, guys, I'm still living the days on 60 minutes. I actually wanted to change it to 90, but that's a little bit too long for me. So, the 60 minute one is tough, as you know, because we struggle with it to prepare for the day 7 horde. Hopefully this time I'm able to do it a lot faster. I actually need to adjust my sound. I got the visuals right off the bat, but the sound is still, I think the zombies, or the overall sound is going to be too loud. Quickly craft some clothing. Come on. I just wish they could also add the bigger bag size. <laughs> I apologize if I sound a little bit tired. I actually spent two hours in the gym just now, so I think you'll be able to hear it here and there with me slurring a few words. Don't worry, I'm not drunk. This time I need to place my flame block at the base. The last time we placed it at the cemetery and then we moved base to that one parking lot. Okay, shift click all of these in. Now I'm having the problem where it's too sensitive again. For some reason on the last episode, or last two episodes from the previous series, um, the mice, or the mice, the mouse was actually proper quality, now all of a sudden it's way too sensitive again. We're going to get all these quests sorted out fast, let's just make a bow as well, then again we have to wait for the quest. Um, I want to uh, get all these quests behind the back so that I can find the trader and build close to it. Hopefully there's a town next to the trailer. Seriously, no net. Ooh, for a moment I thought I was a wolf or something. It's a real shame we have to start over. We were so far with all the skills and everything. Let's just see what's up here on the ridge and hopefully you come across some bird's nests. Come on. I'm not seeing any bird's nests, only stones. At least it gives me a chance to pick up some stones instead of hitting a boulder or something. But still, the faster we get the feathers, the faster we are able to move on. I don't know if I'm just walking past them or... If, oh, here's one. Also guys, I set the settings uh, for this too high this time. Last time, uh, I know you guys remember when I logged in, uh, the visuals were very bad because I forgot to set the video. I didn't know at that time that they actually reset the video settings every experimental. I think the previous series I had it on medium or something. Just, a, just under high. Now most of the settings are high. Let's quickly make, some, make a bow and then arrows. It's nice that the arrows aren't connected to the... Or the bow isn't connected to the arrows anymore. Because usually the bow's level would have been determined by how many arrows you've crafted before then. Let's just start doing this to the inventory. Seems they changed the frames a bit. The previous series, uh, the B113, you could actually, if I upgraded this one, or this one over here, it actually upgraded the one at the back. Let's quickly chop down this tree, and this should give us enough wood for now. Okay, so now we just need to locate the trader, and we need to find some bird's nests on the way. Whoa, this is far away. It's on the other side, no? Let's see, the hub is where? Here, and... The hub is round about here. So hopefully we come across a town. Oh, who knows, maybe this time we actually build in the hub. But for that we definitely need arrows. So I need to keep my eyes open for more feathers. I only have seven at the moment, seven arrows. Let's just make a, another stone axe quickly. This one's getting a little bit bad. And start making some space in here. I think also let's just take one level of the, one layer of the boulder. 
because just now we run out of stone and then we don't have time to chop. Right now it's nice and quiet since there aren't any zombies in the vicinity. Spoke too soon. They're starting to spawn so I'm leaving the safe area. This time I mustn't forget about the horde. It was so bad last time realizing oh damn it's the horde in a few hours. Ooh, two next to each other. And I just happened to look to the right. Oh, come on, only eggs. Where are all the feathers? I haven't read all the release notes, so hopefully they didn't tie the feathers to solely the chickens. 12, okay, so it's starting to look up. Just make a few arrows quickly. Do not want to come across a wolf or something and then have no ammo to defend myself with. It's nice when you're looting something and you see another uh, nest at the back. And let's just also make some frames so that if we need to climb something, we can climb it immediately. Just gonna pause him for now. We don't have enough arrows to take him down. Well, we do, but we'll waste all the arrows. And I'm running the wrong way. The problem is I have no way of checking if this is the same seed or not. Since we're going the opposite direction, we had to go to 3000 south, 2000 west, and then we should would have seen perhaps the trailer that we found and the huge town, the other town we found. I just need to get to safety before nightfall, so I don't die the first day. I can't even remember in which experimental I died. I think it was the previous one. So in this one, I'm going to try not to die. And so the question now is, do I want better tools or better weapons? Because I think I have enough skill points to buy a perk. There's tons of stones on the ground now. I was actually hoping that the next release would be the official one. And unfortunately, it's another experimental board. Hopefully with this one, they figure out the rest of the bugs and fix it. I actually want to test. If I see a boar, I'm going to try and kill it. Because I know with the boar there's a bug where the arrow goes straight through the face. There's no hitbox for the face. I actually prefer doing and also watching the longer episodes. But my view times on the video for the subs, and I have to thank you guys for this. The average view time for my videos from the subs is I think 11 minutes. <laughs> That's quite awesome. Unfortunately the people that are not subbed to me are taking the rating down because they only watch for like 3 minutes. What's that? Boar. Let's try and kill him. Okay, so the hitbox works now. Unfor oh yes, I have a hunting knife. <laughs> awesome. I just need to remember to place down a sleeping bag before I face something like a wolf. And if I die, I don't spawn too far away. Not that I'm planning on dying though. I don't know, some people play the game and then they die on purpose to get back to the base or something like that. I could never do that. Because for me, I always try and survive as long as possible. I love the survival aspect of the game. Especially now since Alpha 16 added a, a, new, a few new things. I love the fact that you need to be a certain level to unlock certain things. So it restricts you from leveling too fast. Okay, now the question is, are there still a ton of dogs in the burn biome? Because I need to go in there. I think I just missed a nest. But oh well. Let's stick to the road. Obviously want to come across bird's nest. But let's just stick to the road for now so that we know we're safe. Okay, now, ooh, vulture already. Damn you. Okay, last moment shot. Oh, yeah, now I need to reach the marker, but I don't know which way to go. Which road will be the best. I also need to make some space. I think I'm going to go in the desert, since it's safer in the desert. It's, uh, except for the snakes in the desert. Also, this time I'm not going to waste money on buying a mining helmet. I'm going to try and see if I can actually... Oh, three biomes. I'm going to see if I can actually make my own. We just get to a little bit of safety and quickly make some space. The first aid kit will be important when you get damaged too much. For now, let's get our wildness up. 
Also, the awesome thing about running in the... Ooh, also forgot about skills. Awesome thing about running in the desert biome is the fact that you can pick up some yucca, or yucca, whatever you call it. So you can actually make some cold, uh, cold drinks. Okay, let's see quickly. I think I missed something. I wanted to make this a shiv. Let's see what's the damage difference between that and a knife. Uh, entity damage, 7.3, and the shiv. Ah, too low. Then again, the knife's almost done, so we'll need to come across more bones, or just keep this for now. Please, Ness, I need some feathers. Hopefully it's more desert than burnt biome. One thing I hate about the desert is the amount of vultures. All of them are attacking me, I don't know why. Come on. That was a bad shot. I'm waiting for him to come back to me. And a bird's nest on the right. Their hitboxes are also very weird. Now if you just saw, I hit him straight in the body, or what seemed to be his body, and it went straight through his zip. They changed this guy a bit. Huh. It went straight through his body, so the hitbox is a little bit messed up. These hunting knives are awesome, I need to make my own as soon as I can. I'm going to see if I can just run past uh, on the side of the burnt biome. Hopefully the trader isn't in the burnt biome itself. We need to loot all of these we come across to get our scavenging up and potentially find awesome loot. Animal hide gloves. We can use that in a colder biome. If we use leather in the desert, it's just going to overeat us like crazy. Come on. Yes, 15. Awesome. And another vulture. As long as they make noise when they attack me, I can dodge them or run away. But in one of the experimentals, they didn't make any sound as they attacked you. They attacked you in stealth. Ooh, almost ran past this one. We said, how many arrows can we make now? Just see, we need wood. actually go into the burnt biome with some wood. I'll get a lot more there. Also let's make a new stone axe since this one's still a low level. That's better. So now we should be able to break through these faster. Come on mining helmet. also need to get to safety before darkfall, uh, before darkness. I keep saying darkfall, honestly, it almost reminds me of that movie Darkness Falls. But what I want to say is nightfall. In that aspect you can actually see that I'm not English. But it's actually weird for me when I'm having a conversation with people. Um, if I'm in a conversation with only English speaking people, then my English adapts and after a while, you won't even be able to tell that I have an accent. But, now that I'm only uh, talking to myself, not only in my own voice, my accent doesn't go away. Oh yes, 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 come on, get him. Only food. Okay, so now that we have some wood, how many can we make? 31, we need more wood. Or is it stone? You just quickly take a level from this boulder since there's no zombies in the area over here. But, what was that just now? It looked like a vulture stretched from here to there all of a sudden. Just gonna get from, uh, in a zombie free zone. What's a hooker doing out here? Oh, 
Chicago Strip, I'm sorry. I have to get the word right. Okay, so we keep an eye on the vulture while we quickly take a layer off the boulder. See, okay, now I hit his body. Where's the rest of his body there? It's like a tiny little hitbox when he hits right in the middle. Come on, stop wasting my time. Okay, so he's gonna bleed out now. He should bleed out after all those hits. Okay, so just before he got his attack in. Cool. Okay, so let's quickly take this level away and then keep going. Well, I'm dropping stone. Not good. Come on. It's a shame you can't just hold E anymore and then it comes towards you. That used to be the case. I can't believe how much this game has improved. It's such an awesome game now. Also guys, my offer still stands. If you want to join me on a server, just say so and then we can create one and play Alpha 16 stable together. I need to stop leaving the mouse button too early. I've noticed that sometimes I don't want background noises in so I leave it and then when I replay the video at the end I notice that my voice cuts away. Two vultures, nice. And a... Yep, it's in the damn burnt biome. Have to be careful and keep an eye on these vultures. Look at this one, he's coming towards me. Oh, the zombie. Nope, me. That's so messed up, it looked like he went for the corpse. Come on, in the head. Nope. Okay, so let's quickly go to the trader and see if we can sell a few things. Just to make some space. Please tell me there are no dogs in here. At the moment I should be able to kill the dogs, but I don't want to take the chance. Undetected, let's quickly make some yucca juice. Ooh, bird's nest. Still want to keep my eyes open, yeah. It's actually, since Alpha 16 Experimental came out, it's a lot harder to see the bird's nest in the burnt biome because of all the smog. Usually it was a lot clearer in Alpha 15, so you could see bird's nest easily. And what is a vulture doing in here? Whoops, don't want to miss this. Shadow's coming after me. I was actually hoping that Alpha 16 stable would drop this weekend and I can do some streaming on camera. Well, obviously on camera, but still. Uh, today I'm going to test out streaming a bit and see if all my settings are right. And as soon as the official one comes out, I'm going to stream. So far so good with the dogs, so let's just hope that continues. Okay, so I said I hope there was a town, or is a town, next to the trader, or close to the trader. So hopefully that is the case. But I ran over wood. Thought there might be a nest. A good old trader I know. I should actually make some tools, but then I'll have to chop some boulders in the area and then set up shop for the night of the year. All prices are fair. Okay, let's see. What can I sell? I'll sell this for now. We do not have enough inventory space to sell this item. That's messed up. So let's just drop the feather for now. And quickly sell this. Okay, we can drop this and pick up the feather. Okay, what else can I sell? Uh, eggs I want to keep. This I want to sell. This, we are going to be in the hot biomes anyway, so there's no point in keeping it. Mm, should I make iron arrowheads now? We can sell one, no, we can't sell these. <laughs> Damn, we can't actually sell anything else. That's a shame. Yucca, nope. So what is here for us? We don't even have close to enough to actually buy any of these. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going for now, 
And then I think in day two I'll come back and craft some items over here. Because my inventory is full, so I need to find a town now. And so the looting of the trader and combining tools we'll do in day two. For now, let's just see where is a town. Ooh. It's on the edge of a forest. What's in this direction? We just have to run in a direction and hope we come across something good. So it's at the back. The nice part is if I need to set up shop, I can actually... Let's just do it now, yeah. Just for day one, and then we, if we come across something, we'll move towards that space. There's nothing over there, right? Okay, so let's quickly make a few more frames. How many will be okay? How much wood do I have? 80. So we'll make the max and then we'll cut some more wood. Okay, let's just quickly start putting it up. Hopefully I can actually use this tree. Uh, I hope it's not too close to the trader. Nope, too close. This isn't too close. But then that means this tree is too close. Let's just see if I do this. Damn, as you can see, the tree holds on this side but not on this side. At least it holds a little bit. So we can put the ladder down there and then we're safe for the night. Um... Let's just quickly get some more wood. Oh, I can be lucky I didn't break my leg there. Or even just injure it uh, slightly. The nice thing of setting up shops so close to a trader is you can actually craft or combine your tools while you're here and then there's a chest right next to the trader where you can dump your stuff that you don't need. See, in alpha, let's just do this quickly. In the previous experimental, if I did this, It'll actually upgrade the one that's already upgraded, but now it's upgrading the old one. So they changed it back to how it used to be. Uh, let's just quickly get a little bit more so we can make a drop chest. At the moment I don't have any space in my inventory. How much is that? Nine. One more. Just as well take this one down. So to all the new players in the game, it's really that easy to survive the first day. Just complete all your quests and then set up shop next to the trader. Now let's quickly make ladders on a chest first and then ladders. Six per ladder, so I can only make three for now. And then I need to make some space. Um, I need the wood, but I'm going to dump it for now. Okay, so one, two, three. We need one more ladder. Just come off the cup. And this was painkillers. Another space. Also, as you're running, a neat trick is to just hit all the small wooden trees like I just did. Uh, I'm talking about these ones. As you run, just hit, start hitting them and it actually gives you a nice amount of wood. Since the trees themselves don't give a bonus anymore at the end, I wonder if they change it back now. So it's between 1 and 2 per hit. Last one? Nope. So you see there's no bonus except for perhaps the seeds. So you can just... Uh, chop up these small branches and then that should give you enough wood as you're running and let's just scrap this and eat this see if i'm struggling to get up here the zombies won't be able to they can only reach me from three sides and one more ladder and jump wow i actually almost jumped two over there and just do this we can place a chest but now the question is where should the chest be because if they take down that then most of it will crumble and if they take down the tree, the rest will crumble. So let's just do this one like this and place it straight over here. For safety, or for my loot safety, I should actually create one more pillar. Be careful not to break anything. And so I'm just going to quickly chop up a few more trees. See you guys back in a bit. Something I just noticed is with these, we just take one more down. I want to see something. Okay, three. Now, uh, for a moment, I thought it wasn't worth taking down the full trees. Because the only two I got before the trees gave me five each. So now we also need to make some arrows and quickly upgrade the rest of this platform over here. We just put the torch at the bottom so we're able to see if any zomb when any zombies come, we'll be able to see their faces. Um, okay, that's why. It's too up, but if I jump at an angle, I can make it. So it's actually pretty safe. So just dump everything and then upgrade the floor. Okay, so we have everything put away. I'm going to keep the feathers on me. With a meat I have to take off. Where do I put the arrows? Oh, on me. 
So we need stone, we need wood, and then I'm going to make a ton of arrows. So for the rest of the night, I'm just going to sneak around and hopefully don't come across zombies. So I can take down these boulders and then also a tree or two more. Uh, I'm going to make some arrows, like I said, and then also I'm going to get enough resources. I can already make 25 stone axes, but I need to make about 60 to get to 500 quality stone axes. So I'm just going to do that during the night, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked the episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. If there are any comments or tips or feedback on the game, leave that down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.